This is a new uh, purchase from eBay. It's a two horsepower dust collector that we've bought for using with a laser machine and uh, we're trying to doctor it a little bit so that um, we can include things like HEPA filters, other filters and activated carbon to, to take out all the dust and odours. Um, so this is, this is what we've done so far. This is the machine here. Um, the vent comes up here from the motor and through the uh, white pipe will come the exhaust from the laser machine. So the exhaust comes into the machine down here and it will go into the bottom bag there where all the particulates will be collected and then the exhaust would um, come up through this hole here and through the bag that's currently hanging from the top. So our bright idea has been to pop a Hoover, uh, a Henry Hoover filter um, in this hole here. So we've squished the filter down and this, this sort of rubbery side bit here um, actually created quite a nice seal. Um, so my, my beautiful assistant here is um, doing the needful and um, just to get a good seal we've, we've managed to find out that we can push this plastic framework not just into the top of the filter here but right through um, the metal hole and it actually creates a very very rigid seal and it means um, that when the um, the extractor goes on it's so tight that um, it doesn't actually get pushed up by the force of the exhaust so um, into this hole we are going to put some um, activated carbon um, hopefully this isn't going to be too dusty and we're going to um, pour some of this uh, without creating too much stir into the top of the um, Henry Hoover filter there and then we're going to cover it over with another HEPA filter and um, a cooker hood extractor filter and then another HEPA filter before it would go into the um, the upper collection bag and then into the atmosphere. Um, we had to decide whether to um, drill a hole in the wall of the, the studio up there and send the exhaust gases through there. But we realised that if we did this, um, then we'd be moving so much air around the workshop that we would chill it quite significantly and um, I'm not up for working in a cold environment really so we're hoping that if we can do all this um, correctly then we can just vent into the workshop space which is quite significant it's a 65 square meter floor area um, so that's the activated carbon and these are what two millimeter diameter pellets oh, yeah. here Should well there's plenty of room there's a bit of dust, but it's not as bad as I was hoping. <laughs> Although I think I've spoken too soon. I think we should be able to get that all in, shouldn't we? There we go. Yeah, it's a bit mounded in the middle, but uh, hopefully you can pat it down. Of course, always wearing nice jumpers and things when doing these things. <laughs> that looks grand, doesn't it? And that'll shugal down a wee bit. Did we decide how we're going to attach the HEPA filter onto the top? We were going to use the Jubilee clip. Oh, that's clip right, yeah. But we've got, the, we've got the cable ties. Right, so John's just patting down the activated carbon here. Um, <laughs> we certainly do and so we've decided that we're going to have a go at securing these um, you could use a jubilee clip but at the moment we have rather long cable ties so we'll use a couple of those so was it going to be a filter first rather than a cooker filter? It's a bit dusty. So oh, and filthy could, as well. This okay. one's first. Okay, so that's and the cooker hood filter Hepa and Hoover then bag. also the HEPA Hoover bag. So there we go. With the entrance cut out of it, there's still dual layer over most yeah. of it. Yeah, so that'll make it a bit easier and that's to secure. Quite a nice fit in there. So now we're going to try and get some cable ties on this. They're over by the door.
where this will actually still flow through. I don't know whether the amount of dust off the carbon whether it will clog the filter quite quickly. But well, we'll just need to that dust see what we... Do these another one as well. <laughs> you think you're, they're long until you start doing something like this, don't you? This idea is all thanks to Dan from the engravers for him on Solnell Creek. God bless him. He saved us a lot of money, hasn't he? This whole thing together, once we finished, mm. we reckon should cost us about... Um, Probably 400, but well, 400, yes, anyway. yes, and then just a few other bits. And you've spent there. about 120 pounds probably on other bits and pieces, including, including the, the carbon and, and the filters and the um, the Henry Hoover base that we've used over there, um, which we who, who might be redundant now, poor soul. Um, need an extra hand. Hmm. Ideally, we'd use a jubilee clip here, but this is just to test it. Yeah. And it's actually fitting quite well. That looks quite quite good, doesn't it? Looks like a pie. Even if it's not full, totally taut over the top, as long as we've got a good seal around the side, it should be grand, shouldn't it? But how much of a rim there is, we'll have to see whether the motor blows the whole lot up into the sky, and then you'll have a lot of shivering. <laughs> yes, we'll see. In just Maybe a, a minute. Bit tighter. <laughs> there we are. Should we try right. turning it on? Should we press the, and the we'll power see button then? Whether we have to stand back or not. Right, okay then. levels at all. I don't know. It doesn't uh, sound quite so obnoxious somehow, I think. Maybe you just But I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm just getting used to it all. And uh, no big jubilee clip. Yeah. Oh, I've got it on this side. Thank you. Now hopefully, if there's still good airflow through all of this, it should blow up this bag fairly impressively when we turn it on again. Here we go. We could also take off the bottom bag if you want and look at it from the bottom and um, see see what's going on there. Here we go. That's the filter from the bottom there and the exhaust pipe that you can see just there. Is that us done? I think it probably is. Great.